Hello everyone, it's Tana. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another haul video and giveaway winner announcement and the announcement for the next two giveaways. I know I'm a little behind. I've been extremely busy. So really quick, I wanted to remind everybody that this is the Stampin' Bug I use for my Misty. It makes it so much easier. And I believe the shop's name is Creations by Coco. I'll have it listed down below for you guys. And moving along. So I decided I need more colored cardstock and I got a recommendation for Paper Tray Ink. So I will go through these colors for you really quick. I don't know the names of the colors. They're both sampler packs. One of them has the names of the colors on it. The other one did not come with the names, so I'm, a friend is going to send me her samples. And I'm very grateful for that because, yes, I have a little story. I had these all stacked along with all the new stuff I've been buying lately on a table I have set up in my craft room, which used to hold the Christmas stuff when I was making Christmas cards. Now it just holds all the new stuff I bought and haven't had time to use. Well, I knocked it over. Like, not the whole table. I bumped into it and all the paper fell onto the ground. I was very upset <clears throat> because now it is, in, it is in no particular order. So even the one with the labeled uh, colors is really not going to be of any use to me. I'm still going to have to research it if I don't receive card samples for all of them. <clears throat> but we will see. So there's a lot of very cute colors in here though I can't wait till I can start using it and it's got a nice texture to it too it's a hundred pound and it's it's really interesting cardstock something new for me definitely uh, one of the sample packs also came with two sheets of white smooth white cardstock so I wonder if that will be good for coloring or if I should just use it for card bases if anybody knows the answer to that let me know comment down below so sound a little stuffy sorry guys I've got a little cold here I had cold and you know I thought I was done with them for the year but I guess not hopefully this is the last one <clears throat> I also like the color of that black cardstock too it's a nice black I use black gray and white the most often in my craft room so there's also some nice cranberry and reds too and moving on, now we have, I couldn't remember if I showed you guys these pencils. They're like a different version of polychromos. So they're not like Prismacolors. They're more like polychromos. So I, I think I did show them to you, but I wanted to go through and show you all the colors real quick because I went back and bought a set of watercolors from them. So here are the watercolors and they come in this cute little kit. They came with a watercolor block pad and all of these colors a uh, tube of gouache white gouache and two watercolor brushes also <clears throat> and that watercolor black pad I'd never seen those until recently uh, some of the watercolor paper from Stonehenge that I bought came like that it's so that you can watercolor right on the pad and it won't warp so those were the colors all tested out swatched out that I showed you guys and now I have my order from Catherine Fuller. So I purchased her little square acrylic block. I love the acrylic blocks with the rounded edges because they are so comfortable. And I bought the set of date night inks complete with the re, uh, the re inkers. I'm just gonna stamp these out for you really quick so you can see what each color looks like. And I'm also gonna take a breath here for a minute because I'm talking really, really fast. I cannot wait for spring, you guys. Like, really cannot wait for spring. I'm so tired of snow, cold weather, and cleaning off the car, and just done with it. And I think this is my favorite color right here, the Serenade. And here are the re -inkers. And I go through them really quick because I wanted to show you. Um, if you subscribe to anything Catherine Pooler wise you probably already saw this but there was a mistake with how Cumberbund was spelled 
and I can't remember which one she said is the correct way without the B or with or the cumber two B's with two B's or with only one B uh, so if somebody knows the answer to that as well comment down below and let me know and then I place an order with Honey Bee. So I have here Pinky the Pig. I don't have him because Riley took him. And it was bought for her, so but she took it right away. And some cute Valentine's stuff. And I know Valentine's Day is over. But, you know, I also picked up the stained glass uh, stencil. And then this Whimsy Heart stencil. And it was at this point that I realized that they sent me the stencil instead of the uh, whimsy, whimsical heart uh, cover plate that I ordered. Um, we'll get to that in a second. I bought, I wanted this Snow Buddy stamp set forever. I believe that's what it's called. And I just couldn't get myself to spend that much money because I really wanted the dies because a lot of those pieces are so small. And it's finally on clearance, so I picked up both the stamp set and the dies. And also two packs of glitter card sock that they had in their shop from Tonic and that was when I was looking at the uh, invoice to make sure that my cover plate was on there and it was you know I contacted them they were really nice about it they let me keep the stencil they sent my cover plate out right away and here we have another order from Amazon I purchased some crushed glass to use on some projects and that was inspired by a card that Corin Wisman recently did although she did not use crushed glass I forget what it was that she used but this looks kind of similar and I picked up a Happy Easter uh, scripty word die from Lawn Fawn off of Amazon the package came a little crushed but the die was fine so and I've been waiting for this stamp set forever and it finally came back into the ink plot shop it's also sold out on Simon Says Stamp quite often, but it's called Get Grounded. And this is nice to have on hand for, you know, images that you don't want to ink blend a, a background for. And then I needed some more gray card sock, but they out, they were out of just fog, so I had to pick up the uh, gray variety pack. So this one has three, I believe, three different types of gray, and I think six of each uh, color so 18 sheets and then a pack of black because I'm running low on black card stock as well and I believe this one has 10 sheets and of course I had to count it you know sometimes I order paper uh, card stock from Simon Says Stamp and it has extra card stock in it I also picked up a thank you larger thank you die from Greeting Farm my Simon Says Stamp order and a scripty Happy birthday from MFT. I forget what that one's called exactly. And then another order from Catherine Pooler. I've been busy lately, can you tell? I picked up the uh, Halo embossing powder and also a bigger version of icing on the cake. There are about six or seven colors. I have the entire collection, but about six or seven of them are in the mini version, so I want to replace those with the bigger version. And I picked up the new stickers for the different design on those ink pads. And there I'm showing you, I, uh, they sent me my Whimsical Heart cover plate. And then I placed an order with uh, Ranger for the stamping foam. I cannot wait to try this. And I, you know, I feel like I've showed you guys the stamping foam before. And I forgot about my Boston sequins from Catherine Pooler. I also, and I don't know why I didn't show it, picked up... Uh, rustic wilderness embossing glaze I think that's what it's called uh, I have another order here from Simon Says Stamp I picked up that honey bee dye on clearance and then I picked up the kitschy flamingo embossing glaze and I picked up some more X face fasten foam tape from Amazon and then these half pearls I saw a, rec a video recently from Jennifer McGuire where she did something really cool with the pearls so I picked up a whole bunch of colors from Amazon, and they were decently priced. And those iridescent ones are my favorite, though. And there, here I have placed an order with Not Too Shabby. Uh, this was my free gift there. And then I picked up this uh, Trinity Stamps uh, die set. I love this set. I think it's a staple because you can use it so many different ways, as I'm pointing out to you. And then I placed an order with her for some new release MFT stuff and I picked up these three new ink colors 
I believe they're Caribbean Sea, Eiffel Tower, and Coral Fire, maybe? I'm probably getting that wrong. And then this sweet little uh, stamp set. Oh, I can't. Sweet Celebration, I believe it's called. And then Balloon Besties I picked up. And I, I just love MFT stamps. Rabbit Hole Designs, MFT, Miss Ink's uh, whole Alice release. I was in love with that. and But I really love this Mice Day to Celebrate stamp set. That thing is just so adorable. And, of course, I placed another order with Honey Bee. That's how behind I am, guys, with my haul videos. And I picked up, this is a more recent order, two pencils. And then this Easter Basket Builder stamp set. And then a stamp set uh, that I can build a whole bunch of Easter phrases with. Because I don't really have much for Easter. So I thought that'd be a good staple as well. And then I picked up three embellishment sets. These are called Jewel of White. I love the way these look. They have this iridescent look to them. And this is called Egg Hunt. And it's got some sequins and some little confetti that look like grass. Some Easter eggs. Some spiral sequins. Just a fun set. And then some clay carrots. And then Pear Blossom Press. Amanda over at Pear Blossom Press was nice enough to send me this gel pen set. Wait to see how these write. I mean, this was right out of the package. I didn't even need to do anything to them. They write so nice. They're going to be my new favorites, I think. And then the new halo lights. I cannot wait to use these. I'm so excited. I love the easy lights, so I can't imagine how these are going to be. So thank you, Amanda, for sending me these, and I am very excited to get to use them. I also placed a quick order with Scrappy Tails Crafts because I saw what everybody on the design team was doing with these leaves, and I just had to have the set. And then just a quick order from scrapbookpal.com because I needed a C4 refill. And then this cute, adorable stamp set from Hero Arts. I think it's called Happy Day, and I just love frogs, so I had to have it. And that little guy in the upper right corner He's doing what I think is called the tree. Jax walks around all the time doing that, and I just thought it was funny. So I needed to needed that I needed this set. I can't speak today. And when I showed Jax that frog, he just started walking around the house doing it all over again. I picked up two more refills from scrapbook.com. I have the whole stamp set or all the stamp or stamp pads, ink pads from Catherine Pooler, but I do not have all the reinkers, so I'm still trying to complete that set. And these four ink pads uh, replace the minis that I have, four more, and I think I only have like three more left to buy. Picked up that stencil from scrapbook.com, I think it's called uh, Whimsy and Flourish. I'll have it down below for you guys, you know I'm horrible with names. That was a short video of the tower, which I absolutely love. So now to the giveaways. For, so uh, Creations by Coco, I believe it is, sent me this stamping book. I had bought one for a giveaway, and she gave me one so I would have one in not Christmas colors. So I, you could say she pretty much sponsored the next giveaway for February. I know I'm a little behind. So make sure that you comment below what it says on the screen there. Be sure to comment because there's going to be two winners I choose. One for February, one for March. Uh, March's gift has not arrived yet, but I do have it ordered. And you must live in the USA for February and March's giveaway prize, but I think in April I'm going to do a gift card for international viewers. And now to announce the winner of the Inkblot Shop gift giveaway is Maria A. Remember, you must be from the United States as previously stated and I'll have my email and everything else you need to know including your deadline in the description box below. Thank you for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're new here. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.